Heron. He died at the age of 62 on Friday. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report, with today's special. Manuel Zelaya, the former president of Honduras, returned home on Saturday after 23 months in exile. At a news conference Sunday in his living room, Zelaya said the coup was the work of an international conspiracy that should be investigated. It was the first coup in Central America in a quarter of a century. The military kidnapped Zelaya from his home at gunpoint, put him on a plane to Costa Rica, stopping to refuel at Palmarola, the U.S. military base in Honduras. This after he tried to organize a non-binding referendum asking voters if they wanted to rewrite the Constitution. Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez and Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos brokered the agreement between ousted President Zelaya and the current Honduran President Portillo Lobo. It was called the Cartagena Accord, paving the way for Zelaya's return. Democracy Now! flew with President Zelaya from Managua, the Nicaraguan capital, to Honduras. On Sunday, we sat down with him at his home in Tegucigalpa. I asked President Zelaya to talk about what happened the day of the coup, June 28, 2009. Un presidente electo. A president pueblo, who was elected by the people fue a was taken out of his home uh, at gunpoint Una madrugada, in a, the early, early morning wee hours en ropa de cama, in his pajamas y dejado abandonado en Costa Rica. And, taken, and taken and abandoned in Costa Rica, en el aeropuerto de Costa Rica, in the airport of Costa Rica. But first, can you tell me what exactly happened here? Pero, what time was it? Primero, what did you hear? How did you wake up? Eh, ¿A qué hora era? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo es que escuchó yo, algo? Yo llegué a las tres y media de la mañana. I arrived to the, my home at 3.30 in the morning. Al día siguiente teníamos una encuesta de opinión pública a nivel eh, nacional. The next day, we were going to have a, 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 a referendum, public referendum, throughout the whole nation. Un referendum no vinculante, era solo de opinión. It was only a, 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 an opinion poll, basically, and it was not legally binding. 14,000 urnas colocadas en todo el país. 14,000 polls uh, placed all over the country. Y se creó una conspiración internacional. And there was an international conspiracy para decir que aquí estaba entrando el comunismo. In order to say that communism was entering into this country. Que aquí estaba entrando el plan Caracas para destruir a Estados Unidos. And that the Caracas plan was going to enter in to destroy the United States. Y que estábamos destruyendo el imperio eh, eh, norteamericano. And that we are destroying the U.S. empire. Si dejaban que esa encuesta se realizara. If they would let that opinion poll take place. Muchos incautos, empresarios, grupos de poder cayeron en esa trampa. Many who were uh, business leaders and others, uh, high society folks, they fell into that trap. Este golpe de Estado lo dio la derecha norteamericana en Honduras. This coup d'état was made by the right wing of the United States. El, esa madrugada. That early morning hours, in, in the wee hours of that morning. Empezaron a someter a la Guardia de Honor. They started uh, to pressure the Honor Guard. Eh, más o menos a las 5 y 15 de la mañana. They, they, they came here at 5.15 in the morning. Empezaron disparos aislados. There were uh, isolated shots that were fired in the neighborhood. Algunos disparos en esta calle. Some in this street over here. Y otros por la parte de atrás and others de la casa. in the back part of the house. Usted ve, esta es una pequeña casa de clase media. You can eh, see that this is a small house, middle class. Es, es fácil asaltarla. It's easy to assault this house. Yo me desperté a los balazos. I was woken by the gunshots. Eh, bajé en ropa de cama. I went downstairs in my pajamas. A la primera planta, eh, al, 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 al patio, la parte de afuera. To the first floor and the patio uh, and on the outside. En el momento en que, en que los balazos estaban impactando en las puertas in, de afuera. At that very moment, the gunshots were impacting on the door uh, in the back. Yo me tiré, la primera reacción, tirarme al suelo y cubrirme de los balazos. My first reaction was to hit the floor and to cover myself from the gunshots. Eh, cuando los militares 
en ese momento entraron al patio de atrás. When that is the moment in which the military entered into the patio in the back. Me amenazaron con sus eh, rifles. They M threatened me with their rifles. M16. M16 machine guns. Eh, me dijeron que era una orden militar. They said that it was a military order. Eh, eso fue a gritos porque querían que yo me sometiera que entregara el celular que tenía. And they were shouting at me because then they were ordering me to give my cell phone because I was talking on my phone. Eran más de unos 10 militares con capucha. There were more, ¿cuántos, perdón? 10. There were more than 10 military who were hooded. Los que entraron a la casa. Who entered into the house actually. Pero afuera habían como 200 o 300. But outside there were two to three hundred. El... Ellos no, solo tenían, solo se veía los ojos, no estaban cubiertos. The only thing you could see were their eyes. Everything else was covered. Y me rodearon. And they surrounded me. Me amenazaron. They threatened me. Que iban a disparar. That they were going to shoot. Y yo le dije, si tiene orden de disparar, dispare. And, if, and I said to them, if you have orders to shoot, then shoot me. Pero sepa que le está disparando al presidente de la república. But know that you are shooting the president of the republic. Y usted es un subalterno. And you are a subalternate. You are an underling. Y ellos no, no dispararon. And so they did not shoot at me. Sino que solo me sometieron a que... Acompañar al vehículo así en ropa de cama. And so they forced me to go to their vehicles outside with my pajamas on. Aterrizamos en la base militar norteamericana de Palmerola. We landed in the U.S. military base of Palmerola. Ahí se reabasteció de combustible. There uh, they refueled. Eh, hubo un movimiento afuera, yo no sé con quién hablaron. There afuera, were como... some movements that happened outside. I don't know what conversations Unos took place. 15, 20 minutos estuvimos ahí. About 15, 20 minutes we waited there in the, in the airport después, of Palmerola. Y después Palmerola. a Costa Rica. Lo demás then, es público. Then to Costa Rica and everything else is public after that. Why were you brought to the U.S. military base? It is not that far to fly from uh, Tegucigalpa Airport to Costa Rica. Why would you be brought to the U.S. military base? And they must have had the U.S. military's position, uh, but permission. Mire, el Departamento de Estado siempre ha negado. The U.S. State Department has always denied, y sigue negando su and they vinculación con el gobierno. continue to deny their any ties with the government. Con, con, vínculos con el, con el golpe. With the, with the coup d'etat. Eh, sin embargo, todas las pruebas los incriminan. Nevertheless, all of the proof incriminate the U.S. government. Y todas las acciones que hace el gobierno de facto de, del golpista. And all of the actions that were taken by the de facto regime or the golpista regime, which are those who carried out the coup. Es para favorecer. And it is to, fa to, ma to, put in, to, fa to make favor of la política industrial, the, the industrial policies militar, and the military policies and the financial policies de of the United States in Honduras. Was your daughter Pichu in the house? En mi casa había tres personas. In my house, there were three people. La muchacha que trabaja con nosotros. The woman who cleans the house and who works here. Que tiene 10 años de trabajar. And she has 10 years working with us. Es una persona de mucha confianza. She is a woman of great trust. Ella sí, aquí se llama she, Suyapa. She continues to work here. Her name is Suyapa. Ella fue sacada, jalada del pelo fue sacada. She was taken out and they dragged her by pulling out her hair. Porque los militares después de que me capturaron. Because the military, after they captured me. Entraron a las habitaciones. They entered into each one of the rooms. Rompieron todas las habitaciones con las culatas. And they, they broke into the rooms uh, through using their rifle butts. Buscando a mi esposa y a mi hija. Looking for my wife and for my daughter. Mi hija es muy delgada y se metió debajo de la cama. My daughter is very thin and so she went underneath the bed. La uh, suyapa. Suyapa, the cleaning lady. Es muy gorda, no se podía esconder. And she's a little overweight and so she could not hide. La agarraron del pelo so y la they sacaron. grabbed her by her hair and they took her away. Pichu, que se llama mi hija Xiomara Hortensia, se quedó bajo la cama, no la encontraron. Pichu, whose real name is Xiomara Hortensia, they, she hid under the bed and they didn't find her. The M16s, where were they made that the hooded Honduran soldiers used? Los M16, ¿dónde fueron eh, fabricados de los, de los soldados? Todos son americanos. They los, are M, all... Las armas... 
eh, que usa el ejército de Honduras son de Estados Unidos. All of the arms that the U.S. I'm sorry that the Honduran military uses are U.S. weapons. Y la cúpula militar hondureña es eh, pues educada en la escuela de las Américas. And the high command of the military of Honduras is trained at the school of the Americas. After the coup, did the U.S. Stop the weapons flow to Honduras? Después del golpe, pararon eh, las armas, eh, el envío de armas a, 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 al régimen en Honduras. Mire, esta semana, 85 congresistas. This week, there are 85 members of Congress of the United States. Eh, this week, sí, correcto. Eh, enviaron una carta. They sent a letter al Departamento de Estado. To the State Department, Hillary Clinton. Eh, so, si, sobre la necesidad and they, this letter speaks to the necessity controlar el apoyo of controlling the support y ellos hablan de paralizar el and apoyo. they speak of paralyzing que se le da a las fuerzas represivas en Honduras which is given to uh, the, the armed forces of Honduras eh, por las, los altos niveles de violación a los derechos humanos que hay en Honduras. And so they point to uh, the high rates of violations of human rights that take place in Honduras. O sea que en otras palabras, in other words, después del golpe de Estado, after the coup d'état in this country, Estados Unidos ha incrementado the, su apoyo militar. The U.S. Honduras. has increased its military support to Honduras. Honduras. Do you support the call of the Congress members? Todo el And que so, Defienda los derechos humanos. All, all who defend human rights y estén contra and who are del against the arm, armaments y de la guerra, and war making, tiene mi apoyo. they have my support. You say that the coup was a conspiracy. Usted dice que el golpe fue una conspiración. Sí. And you talked about the right wing in the United States. Y habla de la derecha en Estados Unidos. Yes. Explain exactly what you understand. Who fomented this coup against you? Okay. Aquí empezó un proceso de conspiración desde que yo me uní a la Alternativa Bolivariana para las Américas, ALBA. The conspiracy began when I started to join what is ALBA, the Latin American nations uh, with the Bolivarian alternative. Y empezó una guerra de, de, de psicología... So dirty war at the psychological level was carried out against me. La empezó, eh, Otto, Reich. Otto Reich started this. Eh, -secretario de Estado. The ex -sub uh, undersecretary of state. Roger Noriega. Roger Noriega. Robert Carmona. Roberto Carmona. Y la Fundación Arcadia, creada, and the Arcadia Foundation. Creada por la Central de Inteligencia. Created, created by the CIA. Ellos se asociaron aquí con eh, grupos de derecha. They associated themselves with the right wing. Con grupos militares. With military groups. Y formaron la conspiración. And they formed a conspiracy. Eh, argumentaron que yo era comunista. They argued that I was a communist. Y estaba atentando contra la estabilidad hemisférica. I was uh, at attacking, the, attacking the security of the hemisphere. Porque era amigo de Fidel, amigo de Chávez. I was my friend of Fidel, I'm a friend of Chávez. Y había declarado mi gobierno como un gobierno progresista. And I had declared my government as a government which is progressive. And yet, uh, WikiLeaks released that trove of U.S. government cables, and in it was a uh, cable from then U.S. ambassador, the then U.S. ambassador um, to Honduras, um, to the State Department, saying that uh, I think that it was titled "Open and Shut the Case of the Honduran Coup." And it was saying it was illegal, it was unconstitutional. It was written by U.S. Ambassador Hugo Lawrence. Hugo Lawrence cooperó para evitar el golpe. Hugo Lawrence, Hugo Lawrence cooperated in order to avoid the coup d'état. Él conocía todo lo que estaba pasando He en el país. He knew everything that was happening in Honduras. Y yo soy testigo que hizo esfuerzos por evitarlo. And I am a witness to the effort that he made to stop the coup. Pero cuando, cuando eh, percibió que no podía. But when he perceived that he could no longer stop it. Entonces se apartó. Then he withdrew. No sé si tuvo órdenes de apartarse. I don't know if he had orders to withdraw. 
Pero dejó que todo sucediera. But he allowed everything to happen. Él ayudó mucho a mi familia después del golpe. He did help my family a great deal after the coup. Se lo agradezco. And I am grateful to him now. Él me demostró que es alguien que cree en la democracia he showed y me, no en los golpes de estado. He showed me that he is someone who believes in democracy and not in the coups d'état. Pero no piensa lo mismo gran parte del Pentágono. But a great part of the Pentagon does not believe this, sur. and nor does the Southern Command. What is